on behalf of SNDT Women's University, I welcome you to Sir Vithal Das Thakursi College of Home Science, which is the first autonomous college in the state of Maharashtra. And I'm very proud to say it is also the first autonomous college of SNDT Women's University. I'm extremely proud to share that the college has completed six decades of its existence and we are celebrating our silver jubilee of autonomous status this year uh, because we got the autonomous status in the year 1995. Friends, I'm also very happy to share that the education world designated Sir Vithal Das Thakursi College of Home Science to be the first ranked college in the city of Mumbai uh, under the Faculty of Home Science. The college has a ranking which is in 20s in the state and also all India ranking under multi-faculty colleges, autonomous colleges across India. I only wish to state that the fact that college got autonomous status two decades back and has retained its autonomy. This has given college a very robust platform, a robust matrix on which the college could innovate, experiment, think out of box. And that is the reason that we were in a position to consolidate our curriculum, both at graduate level as well as at postgraduate level. And I would say that Sir Vithal Das Thakursi College of Home Science is one blessed place where is, you know, there is end to end journey for a student. So when you join us, you join us at junior college and you can continue to be with us till masters and you can continue to do your PhD in any of your disciplines from SNDT Women's University. So there is lots which is there this, for this college to offer. And I would really welcome you to visit our website, www.svt.edu.in. Uh, there are virtual tours of the college, of the department. You know, you will almost feel at home when you visit the website because all the information is there. And the college has completely geared the website in terms of helping you for the process of online admission. And there is a concerted admission team, which also includes a team of our students who are helping all the uh, uh, you know, students who are wanting to join us uh, at all levels. So uh, with these words, I think uh, I'm going to uh, invite my colleague. Uh, Ms. So thank you so much, Vipra. I would request you to take it from here. Hello, everyone. I'm Vipra Banerjee, head of uh, the Department of Mass Communication and Extension. And I will be taking you through the journey of get to know Sir Vithal Das Thakursi College of Home Science, Autonomous, SNDT Women's University. I will be sharing with you the rich legacy of the college and of the different departments that a student desirous of a successful career would want to pay attention to. Sir Vithal Das Thakursi College of Home Science is an institute which is more than 60 years old. It is a conducted college of SNDT Women's University and believes in Sanskrita Stri Para Shakti and educated woman is a source of enlightenment. The college has a rich history and is dedicated to the education and empowerment of women. As the slide shows, SVT College is the first autonomous college in the state of Maharashtra. And the college has retained status, autonomous status for the last 25 years with academic excellence. It has been re-accredited by NAC with A grade. It is a college with potential for excellence CPE phase three from 2015 to 2020. It is also a recipient of prestigious Rashtra Uchtar Shiksha Abhyan Rusa II infrastructure grant from 2018 
to 2020. Let me start with the highlights of SVT College before I introduce the different departments to you. The college offers a semester system. We have honors and regular program. We also have a choice-based credit system. We offer many electives to the students from the first year to the third year. Because of the robust Institute Industry Partnership, we offer an internship program to all the students. There is a scheme which is called as Earn While You Learn. And the college has a lifelong alumni connect. SVT College of Home Science offers a choice of five departments to the students who wish to take admission in the college. We have Department of Mass Communication and Extension, Human Development, Resource Management, Textile and Apparel Designing, and Food Nutrition and Dietetics. These departments have professional courses with a lot of emphasis on experiential teaching and learning, highly competent faculty, state-of-the-art infrastructure, and linkage with the professional and industry. The two departments, namely human development and resource management, also offer two sub-specializations, which are early childhood care and education, developmental counseling, and uh, the resource management offers specializations like hospitality and tourism management and interior design. Let me introduce the Department of Mass Communication and Extension. The Department of Mass Communication and Extension offers a program designed to train students to be media professionals, and emerge as experts in the various mass media skills. The department also focuses on developmental mechanisms for changing the mind and action of people to attain community development. The students get to understand the development communication process. Mass communication and journalism are two of the most renowned and popular fields amongst youngsters today. In these times of COVID-19, one thing that has kept everyone busy and involved is mass media. Whether it was internet, mobile phones, over the top platforms, television or radio. All these forms of media have content which reaches out to millions of people and change their understanding of their world. If any company, celebrity, or political party has to make an announcement, then they take the help of online means as well, like websites, blogs, social media, and forums, various forums to spread their words. In short, Everyone takes the help of mass communication whenever there is need of communicating to a wide range of people within a very short span of time. So if you wish to be an influencer for society by creating interesting articles, features, films, photographs, advertisements, then this is the department for you. The department also has a thrust area of community development or community outreach. And if you wish to have a career as well as help society, then this is the department for you. You can see on the screen, there are various careers under mass communication and extension, which a student after graduation can take up, starting from films, television, radio, social media, OTT platforms, program officer, she can be a program officer, can be a community development officer, extension education, she can work in extension education departments of government of India and various NGOs. She can also look after the affairs of a corporate social responsibility department, can also become a corporate communicator, can get into event management, public relations, 
client servicing an advertising agency. She can also work in the production houses as assistant director, script writer, cinematographer, photographer, and even an actor. She can also be a photojournalist, a journalist, or graphic designer, because all these are the training, are the result of training that is provided in the department. The skills and interests required for a student who wishes to come to the Department of Mass Communication and Extension are as follows. The student uh, should be highly creative and should have good communication skills, have a strong desire to learn something new, should have interest in mass media, and have a desire to help people, and in all, should be a people's person. The student would be taught and trained in leadership skills and the art and craft of mass media. You need to be ready to learn and have an open mind. You should have the motto, I can and I will be able to achieve anything. So if you wish to create an impression on the world like Navika Kumar of Times of India or Barkhadat, or wish to be like Zoa Akhtar, Meghna Gulzar, Gauri Shinde, Tanuja Chandra, just to name a few people in mass media, then you have to start your training in the Department of Mass Communication and Extension. The skills and processes inculcated to the students in the area of extension education create professionals to work in the development sector, NGOs, and government departments. Mass communication and extension education as a discipline is relevant and significant in the context of the emerging needs of the country. The students would be trained in a plethora of subjects from the field of mass media and community development. Subjects like appreciation of films, photography, photojournalism, extension education, media studies, public relation, writing for print media, marketing and advertising and brand building, video production, content development for broadcast media, program planning and evaluation are some of the subjects which would be part of your three year graduation program. The students are given an opportunity to learn by doing activities, projects are part of all the subjects. The three studios of the department, that is the photo studio, the sound recording studio, and the creative lab are the places where the students create films, music, street plays, etc. just to name a few things. They are taken for shoots, edits, seminars, news conferences, to get the first-hand information for themselves. After graduation program, the student can pursue a degree or diploma in mass media, broadcasting media, digital marketing, journalism, photography, and the sky is the limit. You can also apply for degrees like uh, extension education, PG in extension education in uh, social work, or you can take up degree programs like MBAs, masters in computers, education technology, or even the IES exam. So if you wish to have any further information about the college, or you want more information about any one of the department, please contact the admission help desk at 9987887248. Or nine eight double three four five five zero three five or nine eight six double seven zero double three double nine or nine seven six eight one seven zero seven three six or nine double zero four two zero nine four zero two. You can also visit our website www dot svt dot edu dot in or email us for your inquiries at svt dot admission at gmail dot com or office at svt dot edu dot in thank you